FSBO, F-S-B-O. It's an acronym in real estate terms, which means for sale by owner. And in today's market, it's a crazy seller's market. Why shouldn't people try and sell their house themselves? Hey, I'm Gary Aarons. And I'm Kathy Aarons with the Aarons team. And today we're gonna to talk about eight reasons why we don't think it's a great idea to be a for sale by owner. The main reason not to sell your home by yourself is because you have no professional representing your interests. Sure, you have interests of your own in your house, but you don't know all the rules and all um, important factors that go into a real estate transaction, which is really what a professional can help you with as they go through the process. Reason number two, it's really difficult to get an accurate valuation of your property if you don't have access to all the data that's in the multiple listing system. Sure, you can go on one of the common websites um, and take a look at some of those, at some of the old listings, but you don't have the same information in terms of were there any concessions made? Do you have all the pictures? Do you know the timing? There's lots of other factors in there that we can see as realtors in our multiple list that you cannot see on a site such as realtor.com. A third reason not to do a for sale by owner is because, you know, what are the steps of the process? Do you know what happens after you have a contract? Do you know what the next step is? How do we get from point A to point B, which is actually closing? And along with that, what documents will you even use? Rule number four is, do you have the documents necessary? You don't wanna just go online and pick off some, you know, Maryland real estate contract and fill in the blanks. Do you know what those contracts mean? Are they even legal? So there's lots of reasons. Gary's gonna go over a few more. So number five, one of them is that you need maximum exposure. So you may say, I'm gonna put a sign up out front, I'm gonna say, I'm having an open house, but you get like one person, like like, like Mrs. Jones across the street, she comes over. Because you don't have maximum exposure by putting it in the MLS, uploading it. I know with Keller Williams, it goes up, it's like 450 internet sites and, and saying, you have an open house and you have a house to sell. So that's that one. Number six, number six is navigating any unforeseen issues. Let's say you have a chandelier, I mean, this is crazy, a chandelier that came over on the Mayflower, let's say for instance, been in your family forever, and it's screwed into your ceiling, and you don't specifically say, hey, this house, is, this is excluded from the sale of this house. Well, you know what? You can end yourself up in court over that chandelier. It's these little things that you need a professional to help guide you. Number seven, number seven is, according to the NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors, over 85% of litigation, like court cases, uh, dealing with tran transactions are within a for sale by owner situations because you have two people trying to ne negotiate this contract and they really don't know what they're doing. Even maybe one of them is a lawyer and maybe the other one isn't. It's still not gonna work. You need, you need to get it right. And the last one is 66% of all home purchases don't sell with the same terms as when it went under contract. So, and that could be price, it could be other terms, it could be seller contribution, it could be what repairs that the seller is, um, is going to agree to make as a result of home inspection, some of these things. So all along the way, things can sort of go weird. And that's why it's great to have a professional. So if you have questions about selling your house or want to know what the steps are involved or what you would need to do to get ready, feel free to give us a call. We'd love to help you and just have a conversation.